Hey guys, today we are multiplying polynomials. Here I have 3x squared over 3x to the third minus 27x times x squared plus 8x plus 12. I'll slide that over to give myself some room. And remember that x squared plus 8x plus 12 is really just that polynomial over 1. So we can multiply it straight across. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want to break down each part of both of the fractions. So I'm going to do the prime factorization of the 3x squared. So that leaves me with 3 times x times x over. Now I see here that I can factor something out of the bottom of the fraction here. Uh, I notice that I can divide them both by 3. I also notice that they both have an x, and the lowest power of x is 1, so I will factor out a 3x. And on the bottom here, then, I am left with x squared minus 9. And now we will multiply that by whatever we can factor that into. Well. I need to know what two numbers multiply to be 12, but add together to be 8. Well, I know that 2 and 6 will multiply together to be 12 and add together to be 8. And I'm left with that 1 on the bottom. Now, before we make our big fraction, I realize that there is an x squared minus 9 here. Well. If I rewrite this as 3 times x times x over 3x times something, I know that x squared minus 9 is a difference of 2 squares. So I know that that is x plus 3 times x minus 3. And I'm going to multiply that by the x plus 2 times x plus 6 over 1. Well, let's make that one big fraction. And that becomes 3 times x times x times x plus 2 times x plus 6 over 3 times x times x plus 3 times x minus 3. So let's look for what we can cancel. Well, I see that I have 3's on the top and the bottom. I also have an x on the top and an x on the bottom there that I can cancel. And it looks like that's about it for what I can cancel. So on top, I'm left with x times x plus 2 times x plus 6. And on the bottom, I'm left with x plus 3 times x minus 3. I'll slide that over a little bit to show you that we can simplify this. Well, I know that x plus 2 times x plus 6 is x squared plus 8x plus 12. And now if I multiply that by an x, I'm left with x to the third plus 8x squared plus 12x over. And then I also know that x plus 3 times x minus 3 is x squared minus 9, which is right here. I wanted to do one like this just to show you that sometimes there are parts here that can be canceled, but sometimes there are not. So this is a case where there was really nothing to be canceled in the parentheses. The only things that canceled were our 3 times x and our 3 times x. Hope that helps.